everyone. Welcome to Medication Monday. This is where we go over a different EMT drug that we administer out in the field. We do it specifically in EMT drug card format. As always, follow your local protocol and scope of practice. Today's medication is called diltiazem, and diltiazem is most commonly referred to by its brand name, which is cardiazem. There are several brand names, but that's definitely the most common one that you'll hear. It falls under the class of calcium channel blockers, and it is a class 4 antidysrhythmic. What is the mechanism of action? It works by inhibiting the calcium ion influx during the depolarization of the cardiac and vascular smooth muscle. So this slows down or decreases the conduction rate at the AV node, and coronary vasodilation occurs along with just a decrease in the myocardial oxygen demand. Your indications are going to be atrial fibrillation or flutter with rapid ventricular response or paroxysmal SVT. As always, before I go into dosages, please abide by your local protocol and stay within your scope of practice. Your initial dose will be 0.25 milligrams per kilogram IV, and this will be over two minutes. If that doesn't work, then you're going to give it at 0.35 milligrams per kilogram IV over two minutes. It's important to wait at least 15 minutes in between your dosages. And in pediatrics, this is not recommended. Your contraindications are going to be WPW or sick sinus syndrome, LDL syndrome, heart blocks, severe hypotension, cardiogenic shock, ventricular tachycardia, or a known short PR interval. Adverse reactions of diltiazem can include hypotension, nausea, vomiting, weakness, bradycardia, drowsiness, confusion, and in some cases, conduction abnormalities in the heart. It should not be given with a beta blocker. How it's supplied. In the EMS field, you might see it in 25 milligram in 5 ml vials or 50 milligram in 10 milliliter vials. A few side notes. Use with caution in patients with renal or hepatic failure or dysfunction, and remember to get a very thorough medical history on your patient, and this includes whatever medications they take daily. Our patients with cardiac history may already be prescribed beta blockers, and we don't want to administer our cardiazem if the patient has taken a beta blocker recently. There could be itching or burning at the IV site, so it's just something to be aware of. And also, even though they may be ineffective or, in your experience, typically ineffective, definitely try your vagal maneuvers, even if it's as you're drawing your cardiazem up. Remember to abide by your local protocol and scope of practice. This video is purely informational for those in the EMS field, and it's never meant to be used in the place of professional medical advice, local protocol, or formal education. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you next week. Bye!